I've been telling everybody that would listen that we are in the midst of a new normal season, that this is not your father's college football year. This is not anything because of the transfer portal, NIL and everything else. And the gap has shrinked so far between a three star and a five star recruit and the way the recruiting rankings work and, and the training and everything else. You're going to get more outlier results. And this week we saw six, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six ranked teams fall and only one of them lost to another ranked team. So we saw Alabama lose to Vanderbilt, Tennessee lose to Arkansas, Missouri lose to Texas A&M, Michigan get beat on the road by uh, Washington, who was actually favored in that game where everybody was like, whoa, what the hell's going on here? USC traveled out to Minnesota, took an L, and Louisville lost to SMU as well. And the crazy part is it is hard to win on the road, but it is even harder to win at this point in time. And now that we have the expanded 12 team playoff, it has given all the big name elite programs, everybody with one of them great logos on their chest. They were going to have a mulligan for this season. So there was going to be a chance that they got a chance to slip up and still be able to recover. But did we expect all of the mulligans to get used in one damn weekend? No, we did not. But the other part about the mulligans is that did we expect it to happen versus unranked teams or did we expect the losses to happen versus ranked teams and say, OK, like the Georgia Alabama game, Alabama beats Georgia. So you're saying, OK, no harm, no foul, where in previous seasons in a four team playoff that would have completely impacted whether you were able to make the playoff or not. But 12 teams, you get, you know, some grace. But now with these losses to Vanderbilt and to Arkansas and to other team, Minnesota, that aren't going to even compete for the playoffs, that are really going to be at the bottom of the conference rankings, this actually opens the door for other teams to be able to make the college football playoff that people were not expecting. Here are some teams really that lost in the beginning of the year that you would be surprised that are now back into the college football playoff conversation. And also it sets up a huge game in two weeks. So those teams that are now in the college football playoff conversation are Texas A&M, because they lost their first game of the season to Notre Dame. And you were thinking, OK, this is a bad Texas A&M team. They're not going to compete. Well, now that Bama has lost, now that uh, Tennessee has lost, they are back in the thick of things in terms of the SEC standings and being able to make the SEC championship game and finish in the top three or four in the conference, which likely will get you into the playoff. You got SMU over in the Big 12. When they played their first game against Nevada, there is no chance that anybody thought that they were going to be able to win. No chance. And then when they lost to BYU, it was like, oh my God, they lost to BYU. But now it turns out that BYU is not just a team, but they are a really good football team. And that puts a whole different spin on that loss. Notre Dame, after that NIU loss, that Northern Illinois loss, it, they were completely written off as college football's top 12. But now they are right back into the hunt. And now this is actually going to expand the amount of teams that can make it from other conferences like SMU and the ACC, because people originally thought, OK, we're going to have four Big Ten teams, four SEC teams, and then we're going to, you know, get the ACC champion, the Big 12 champion. And that makes 10 plus the group of five team that that's ranked and then maybe Notre Dame. But now we are in a situation where mm, that might get expanded. The game that sets up in two weeks is Nebraska and Indiana. That game. So Indiana is undefeated. And now both of those teams are back into the college football playoff hunt. Now, Indiana is undefeated, but people didn't recognize them as a potential college football playoff team. But now if they finish the season 10 and 2, depending on who their losses are to, it is going to put them in a very, very unique situation and an opportunity to make the college football playoff because a team like Indiana has 
on the rest of their schedule, they got Nebraska in two weeks, so they got a bye week this week. Then they got Washington, Michigan State, Michigan, which is clearly a winnable game as well. Then they got Ohio State and Purdue. So if their only loss is to Ohio State, man, they are 100% going to make the playoff unless the committee is just turning a blind eye to those types of teams.